This is a quick overview on the uh, scope functions of the Bitscope BS10. That is a USB powered 100 MHz mixed signal scope with two analog oscilloscope channels and eight logic analyzer channels. The input range is from minus 7.5 volts to 10.8 volts and uh, you have to use proofs with attenuation for uh, voltages out of this range. The logic input levels are between are 3.3 and 5 volts TTL compatible. And the software used for, for this system is the Bitscope DSO 2.8 version. So we will we will uh, use it uh, only for the scope function. Okay. So we have here the main display, the virtual instruments and uh, tools. The channel control, we have channel A and channel B. Here, the time-based control panel, the trigger panel, and some con capture control panel. We will go very fast to some very specific uh, EC functions. So for the control panel, we have this uh, uh, channel A, but also we could activate channel B. Okay, we have another function in channel B. So far, we will see the channel A. Uh, this uh, one is uh, for enabling, you see, on, off. And uh, here you have the scale, so it's in voltage, voltage in volts uh, by division. So from line to line, there are one volts here, and you could increase or decrease depending on what you're going to analyze. Okay, so you could change that there. You could change the offset uh, here, just clicking and dragging, okay, up and down. You could click and drag the function and this is the offset you could put the offset to zero just clicking here okay so it's here or you could just reset with the right button to reset uh, zero so you make it go to zero again okay so uh, we could drag uh, it from like there and also this function we could do the same and drag it here Okay, and we could put to zero and maybe reduce a bit here. Okay, so, okay, so here also we could change the voltage range, the input voltage range, and uh, we could uh, uh, change in case you are going to use uh, proofs with attenuation, you could change it here, right button of the mouse. Okay, um, then we have here the time base control panel with uh, this uh, repeat and trace, traces to trace directly and repeat if it is depending on the trigger. If whenever the trigger uh, detect the condition, just stop there or just repeat the trigger, uh, the, repeat the capture all the time. Also, you have the time base here. This is the distance between one vertical line and the other. So in, uh, in this case, it's uh, 50 microseconds division. So you could increase or decrease, okay? Uh, the distance in the grid, okay? So you could change that. Also, what you could change is the uh, where you are, like you want to analyze something that is here, you just click here and drag to the right or to the left. You could go like to the trigger point, that is whenever the trigger condition that is here, we will see later, of course. But you could say, okay, but I want to capture before the trigger happens. So then here in post, you right click and say like, I want the buffer, 25% of the buffer to be recorded before the trigger. Okay, then you have more things than the trigger. Here is the trigger point. Uh, so you have the trigger point, but also you have some more information stored before that. Okay, so you could analyze what happened before the trigger uh, point. Um, then uh, about the trigger control panel, what we have is that here is the source channel A or channel B. Now we have channel A that is this one. And uh, uh, you could say like I want to use the edge, the rise, rising edge or the falling edge. So this is a trigger point or you could use levels like high or low level. 
but if we use the rise one we could change the level here okay and if we change like channel v we have here it okay so now this this one is is triggered um also we have the cursors that if we click in cursors okay there are several cursors here okay vertical or horizontal ones and here this panel appear so what we have here is that the orange one is this one the green one is this one here this one measure the voltage that is here okay we are uh let's say triggering channel a so this one is saying this voltage and this other is this other voltage okay so let me see the triggering point okay so the difference is this one okay we could put in the opposite way okay so uh, we have 3.6 volts in this case and uh, this is the zero rate uh, for the vertical ones we could move them okay and here is the position from the triggering point okay so uh, this one is for this one in in microseconds and this one is this one and here is the di the difference okay between both in microseconds so from here to here there are 138 microseconds and this is the distance in kilohertz so if we take like from here to the next point it repeats we could see that there are 10 kilohertz okay from here to here also uh, we could use in, uh, in some cases like uh, with the right uh, uh, button we could uh, track some 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 values like the maximum value of the function or the minimum value so it will track it or the mean that is the average uh, voltage or the median that is the midpoint between the maximum and the mean or the rms okay and uh, in this case we have also we could follow the trigger point or others you see yeah for more information you could go to the manual um in the case of the capture uh capture control panel what we are going to see really at this moment is the recorder the recorder is here so if, if we want to record what we are seeing at the, on the screen we could just go and listen it is recording in memory so it is good to have that just in case something happened and if something happened you could just say new and it will uh, create a file and include whatever is in the buffer plus more things so i could save whatever and uh, say like i want to write this one and okay and now i am storing recording you see okay at any point i could stop and close whenever i close it i could open it and analyze it okay open it and just play it uh, maybe this was not the correct one so these are the functionalities of the scope